Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm here today with another fun Valentine's Day DIY. I'm gonna show you a really fun way to wrap up some Valentine's Day goodies. This one is gonna be so cute. Trust me, you don't wanna miss it. If you're ready, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to our channel, hit the red button to subscribe and don't forget that bell. That way you'll get alerts when new videos like this one are out. We've got all of our supplies here. Most of these are from the dollar store, but I'll link the ones that are not in the description box down below. We'll make it nice and easy for you guys to get everything you need to start this project. We're gonna start with our foam ring. I found this at the dollar store, but you can get these at any craft or hobby store. We're gonna spray paint this. I picked a pretty metallic silver color. This turned out so good. I actually made one in advance to show you guys and keep this quick. So here it is. And then you're gonna notice this is rounded all the way around. I cut off the edge right over here. You just cut it off with a knife. It's super simple to do. I got some cake forms. We're gonna grab one of these, add some glue to here, and then it'll rest just like this. You can already see it's starting to look like a ring. I'm just applying this generously so we get it nice and secure to the base. I'm just gonna press it down for a few seconds and hold it until the glue dries. This looks so cool already, but we are just gonna set this to the side for a minute. I mean, who wouldn't want a giant rock like this? We are gonna stuff some goodies inside one of our bowl next. I picked out this spa themed stuff but honestly, you could put whatever you want in here. A big plushie would work, some candy. Let me know in the comments what you would do. We'll just place these right in our bowl. All right, this looks good. I honestly can't believe how easy this DIY is. Who would have thought making a giant ring pop could be this fast? It's just a few steps and it's so inexpensive. That's why I love it. All we have to do now is just seal this up. I'm gonna use my hot glue gun again and we are gonna put some glue around the edges. I'm not gonna do it all the way around because we want this to pop open easily. If you don't wanna use hot glue, Velcro is another option. You could get small pieces and place it on the sides here. And then that way you can just open it again and again. But honestly, hot glue is so quick, it's so easy. And if you wanna reuse it, you can just glue it again. No big deal. This is going to be so cute, guys. I'm just making sure the edges are lined up nicely. Again, we'll hold this secure. I'm just pulling off little excess strings of hot glue. This really does look seamless though. You can't even see the glue. To keep the container looking nice, I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna add hot glue just around the edges here. That way if we wanna reuse it again, there's not glue all over. Now we're gonna take our ring base and we'll just press it down. Again, I'm just holding to let this fully dry. Oh my gosh, guys, this turned out so cute. I mean, who wouldn't want this giant ring pop for Valentine's Day? If you enjoyed this simple DIY, hit that thumbs up button and I will see you in the next video. Remember guys, if I can do it, so can you.